Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. I pray that today's reading will bring you joy and it will bring you encouragement as we read together. Our reading today comes to us from 1 John 4, reading verses 1 to 11. And it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Verse 2, Hereby know he that the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Verse 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Verse 5 They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Verse 6 We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Verse 7 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. 8. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Verse 9. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. 10. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. 11. And last. It says, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also do ye. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks again for a portion of his word. And we are admonished that we must love one another. And it tells us also how we can know whether or not we are of God or of the devil. It tells us that we are to try every spirit because not every spirit is of God we must understand we live in a world that exists in a controversy between good and evil God and the devil and so the devil also has agents of his own God has his servants and so both are are competing in a manner to get your allegiance Satan even more so because he's a liar and a deceiver and a destroyer but God wants to give us eternal life and so he tells us try every spirit because what there are many false prophets who are out there in the world and trust me if we look in the world today they are numerous everywhere you turn there is somebody whether on youtube or somewhere some part in the world saying that they're of this faith or another and when you examine them they are not following the word of god they are just following a format that the devil has given unto them so they themselves have been deceived and so they come to deceive others and that is why it is very important for each of us to study the word of god for yourself and even when you come and you listen these readings from me 
you should also examine to see whether or not they are coming from the word of God. Because for one, I am human. I may make mistakes. Two, I may deceive you. You never know. The only way you can be sure of anything is to use the word of God to examine me, to examine every preacher, to examine every message you get everywhere. Don't say your preacher say or your pastor say or your bishop say. That is not the way you grow as a Christian by feeding off others because others can mislead you. You need to know what the word of God says. You need to know what God says. And so I encourage all of you, including myself, that we will use the scripture and the scripture only as our guide. So as much as I encourage you to listen to these readings in the morning, I also want you to read for yourself. I also want you to know for yourself so you don't have to say, I said, you can prove it for yourself that whatever came from my mouth is what is written in the word of God. Amen? Amen. And so, it speak about the Antichrist. Do you know what the Antichrist is? Who is the Antichrist? That's your homework. I'm going to leave you to write that in the chat and we will decipher it another time. But tell me what you think is the Antichrist and we will, we will explore it some more. All right, so that's an homework for you. I'm not going to tell you the answer now. I want you to tell me what you believe is the Antichrist and then we will post the, the answer in the chat afterwards. Okay? So that's a little homework for you. Continuing. Okay. So it says that how can we prove that we have the love of Christ in us? Is there any way to prove that we have the love of Christ in us? By having a relationship with God and exhibiting the characteristics of God. So if you know God, and I mean know God, then naturally His love will be reciprocated through you. So being around Him, you will see how He acts. You will see how He talks. You will see how He does things. And so you will have a great example of what to practice. And so if you want to know what love is, then you need to know God. You need to have a relationship with God. And by doing so, you will have an experience like no other. The world is lacking in love today, needs more love. You are the perfect person to carry that love to the world. But stay close to Jesus who can give you that strength in love and the wisdom in love and the kindness in love that you need and that the world needs. So brethren and friends, may we allow the Holy Spirit to work in and through us. May we stick closer to Jesus. A songwriter said, closer than a brother, my Jesus is to me. He is my dearest friend. And so let Jesus be your dearest friend. Let Jesus be your best friend. And I guarantee you, this is one friend that will never let you down. And so as we continue to live for him, as we continue to serve him, may we show the world what we are truly about, what our God is really about, the saving of souls and the welcoming of his bride to his citadel. So God bless you and God keep you as we continue to remain faithful. Amen.